Hi everyone, my name is Markus Arstedt. I'm professor of marketing at the Otto von Gehrig University in Magdeburg. The ones of you that visited last year's AMS conference in Monterey might recall that we gave a pre-conference workshop on partially squares structure equation modeling. Well, we, that is Joe Hare from Kennesaw State University, Kristen Ringlem from Hamburg University of Technology, and myself. Well, fortunately, we received pretty good feedback on that workshop, and um, many of the participants asked us whether we could provide another workshop dealing with more advanced topics of PLS structure equation modeling. Well, your wish is our command, and I'm happy to announce such a workshop to take place at the next AMS conference in Indianapolis. When we consider standard structure equation modeling analysis, we are usually looking at main effects. That is, we analyze the direct relationships between sets of constructs. More often than not, these direct relationships are, however, not constant. They depend on other uh, variables in our data set. Consider, for example, the well-known relationship between satisfaction and loyalty. It's reasonable to assume that this relationship is not constant for all respondents, but depends, for example, on the respondent's gender or their income. Well, in this case, gender or income, income moderate the relationship between satisfaction and loyalty. The question is, how can we actually model and estimate such moderating effects in PLS? And what are the differences uh, between reflectively and formatively measured moderating variables? These are some of the things that we are going to talk about. Well, when running such moderation analysis, what you're actually doing is accounting for heterogeneity. Meaning you're not assuming that there is one global model that represents all observations well, but you're acknowledging that there are differences between, for example, male and female respondents. Um, however, oftentimes we do not have any prior knowledge which variables might cause heterogeneity. Sometimes we even don't have the data available to test, for example, separate models, one for males and one for females. Thus, heterogeneity is frequently unobserved. Yeah, it cannot be accounted for by any observable traits such as gender or income. Obviously, such unobserved heterogeneity is an issue. It's super important to consider it. Um, consider, for example, uh, a model where you have a positive relationship in one uh, group and a negative relationship in another group. Well, if you analyze this data on an aggregate level, the positive and the negative relationships would cancel each other out, leading to biased results. But well, fortunately, research has provided us with numerous ways to identify and treat such unobserved heterogeneity. In this workshop, we're going to be dealing with the most prominent approach in the field called finite mixture PLS, or short, FIMIX PLS. Yeah, how can we run a FIMIX PLS analysis? How can we determine how many segments to extract from the data? These are some of the things that we're going to talk about. Well, lastly, we're going to talk about mediation. I'm sure most of you have been exposed to mediation at some point in the regression context. A mediator is a variable that intervenes in a direct relationship between two variables. And the question is, how can we model such mediating effects and how can we decide whether a mediator significantly contributes to explaining some dependent variables? Well, these are the topics that we're going to talk about at the pre-conference workshop at the next AMS conference. Uh, it would be great to see you all at this pre-conference workshop. Uh, please don't hesitate to contact either of us, that is Joe Hare, Kristen Ringley, or myself, in case you have any questions. Looking forward to seeing you in Indianapolis.